how you are enjoying being back home? Uh, yeah, it's been great. I've uh, obviously cherished living in obviously Brisbane, but now um, I guess it's just it's been a blessing in disguise coming back home, family, friends. Um, I forgot, you know, I suppose how much or how many you know people actually respect you know the, the Brumbies, but not only that, like how tight knit um, you know Canberra is. So really, really loving it down here at the moment. Talk us a bit about the decision, I guess, to, to come back down. Uh, I suppose it wasn't a tough decision. Uh, I suppose, you know, coming down with my family, um, having Bernie or Stephen give me a call and say, more or less saying, say, would you like the opportunity to come down? And, you know, I jumped at the opportunity to, to definitely be coached by, um, you know, hopefully, you know, one of the greats, but I suppose a teammate as well. So, you know, I've obviously played with Stephen. So for me, it was a great opportunity. Yeah, was that, was that a bit weird to get your head around the fact that he'd be kind of you as a coach on the field? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I never thought that obviously Stephen would be coaching me, so it's, we might have a little bit of awkward conversations, but no, at the moment, um, you know, I'm you know, loving you know, training at the moment with, under Dan McKellar, and um, it's been great and you know, loving it down here. Yeah, a couple of weeks under the belt, the body's slowly getting used to it again. Yeah, well, it's, oh, it's not as humid, so that's great. It's obviously hot, but it's, it's a dry heat, but in saying that, um, yeah, it's been great. It's been really, really good. How has the place changed? So obviously you weren't here last time, yep. but how has it changed? Uh, for me personally, uh, I've actually been past Griffith three times um, <laughs> and thought that that's where we were based out of instead of, uh, you know, good old Bruce. <laughs> so uh, I've made a couple of mistakes. A little bit of 45-minute drive has taken. But in saying that, um, it's been great, you know, you know, the, the place has changed dramatically. The the culture, the actual team environment, you know, the staff members, you know, the facilities have been great. So, you know, when I was here, you know, we probably didn't have the greatest facilities. We probably didn't have the best fields, and now, you know, they're second to none. So, um, you know, it, it's been great being out here. Do you think, um, like, you come back as a, a Super Rugby Championship winner? I think, um, top of my head, probably the only you and Ant, the only ones in the squad. Is that what you guys will want to bring? Is just a little bit of experience, especially with the guys that have left? Uh, obviously, you know, um, you know, the Brumbies are renowned for winning and having a winning culture. Uh, we, you know, obviously now as being a Brumby player, we probably haven't won a Super Rugby Championship for a long time. So for me to come back, um, I want to bring that, you know, I suppose that winning culture um, and enhance it, you know, with the ability that we, we can win championships. and. I think the biggest thing that you know I want to show is that you know no, nothing's untouchable, and and I think you know the Brumbies have been so close, um, so many years and so many times. I think that you know we're just on the cusp, and you know having such a great core group and and young players that are, are really stepping up to the to the plate. I think that we're we're definitely able to achieve that, and um, you know never under, underestimate the underdogs. I guess. What about the hooker battle? Um, Josh is obviously there, and, and Robbie, Robbie, who was. Probably what, hanging around, he, he would have been too young to be I think he was at school, yeah. yeah, so obviously Josh is 42 or something, and you know, Robbie's, I think he's a couple of years younger than me, so um, you know, it's, it's been great, you know, we've been pushing each other, and I think, you know, out of good competition comes the best players, and, and, you, and you actually drive, drive each other to become better players, so for me, you know, in Canberra, oh, sorry, in Brisbane, I had James Hansen, who was always pushing me, so down here, nothing really changes, it's that, makes you a better player and hopefully it becomes one of us become Wallabies. So, you know, obviously looking forward to become a Wallaby again and, and wear that gold jersey. What about replacing Squeak? Like, um, did you guys sit down at the start of your career and organise a career swap? That, yeah. You know, <laughs> well, you know, I, I suppose I, I never thought I'd actually leave home. Um, yeah. I actually never thought I'd leave Canberra. And I, the biggest thing for me was, you know, Canberra's home and, and um, you know, Queen Bean, you know, I, I, you know, they call it the city of legends. So for me, you know, I actually never thought I'd, I'd actually leave. So it was a big decision to leave and um, it was an even bigger decision to move back, you know, after such a long time in Queensland. So for me now, it's just about cherishing the moment, um, doing what, you know, I've learnt in Queensland, uh, embracing, you know, the actual culture down here and, you know, just enjoying it and, and, and being part of a, a great culture, but a great team. It looked for a bit there that you were going to be coming alone and Ant wouldn't be with you, but it must have been nice when he decided to make the trip back too. Yeah, uh, it was a quite, quite good surprise. I don't think, um, you know, I had a lot of people saying, you know, is Anthony going or where's Anthony going? And, you know, you haven't spent 
you know, months apart from him. And for me, you know, I suppose you can earn the most of the money in the world, but at the end of the day, if you're not happy, you're not happy. And for us, we love in, we love each other's company. We love playing together, and and it gets the best out of each other. So for us, um, to come home, you know, you know, to play in Canberra, um, to play for the Brumbies, you couldn't have a, I suppose, a better finishing note. So for us, it's it's really great to actually finish, or to, sorry, not finish, but to actually come down and actually start um, rebuilding, I guess, our career again.